So failure to commit in a relationship. Why does he not want to commit? Or sometimes why does she not want to commit? Usually the first one is more common than the, uh, that I would hear, certainly. So let's, let's talk about that, that fear of commitment. Why is a person reluctant to be fully in the relationship, half in the relationship, half out of the relationship? Well, one of the mistakes we make with this is that we kind of assume that their la lack of readiness to commit is a sign of immaturity. Now, I want to just take a different approach to this. Let's just start off with the, the assumption here or the, the idea that their lack of commitment or their lack of readiness to commit is logical. It makes perfect sense from them. From their perspective, it makes a lot of sense that they're just not ready to commit. And of course, from the other person's perspective, it feels like they're half in, half out, and it drives them up the wall. That's for sure. There's no, there's no doubt about that. But why is it logical? You know, we could easily label it as immature or something. But let's just take it, let's just give it some due respect for a minute and see where it's coming from. Because it can be something that you can move past and get to a place where the person is ready to make a commitment. But just labeling that issue they have as immature is not going to help. We need to really understand it because understanding it helps both partners move through it. So really, this is the equation. It's pretty simple. A person will be, will be unwilling or unready to make a full commitment to a relationship if they think that life in the relationship is not as good as life outside the relationship. Okay, now I, that might seem like I'm staying the, the bleedingly obvious there, okay? But I'm just gonna say it again. As long as they think life in the relationship is not as good as life outside the relationship, they will not make a full commitment. They'll drag their heels, they'll be in and out, they'll drive their partner up the wall. <laughs> so that's what it is. Now, then we have to ask ourselves, well, well, why do they not, would they not like life in the relationship? What are they giving up? That's where we can start, really, because they are giving up something if they leave the life outside the relationship. What are they giving up? What is a person giving up if they're going to make a full commitment to be in a relationship? Well, there's a lot of things. They're giving up their ability to meet and be with other people. That's a real thing that they're giving up. They are giving up that, okay? They're giving up when you're in a relationship with someone else. You have to be far more mindful of another person's preferences and needs. And decisions you'll make cannot be as independent in a relationship. So you're giving up a lot of freedom to make decisions, to go wherever you want to do, wherever you want to go, to, to, to do whatever you want to do. You have complete independence when you're not in a relationship. In a relationship, less so. So isn't that logical? Okay, it makes perfect sense that a person would not be just totally ready to commit all the time. Let's just respect the fact that what that, that fear of commitment is. Now, you could call it a fear of commitment, but you could just say also it's quite sensible. So how then does a person move from this over to this, to, to not wanting to be in the relationship, wanting what they have outside the relationship to being in the relationship? Well, this is a huge, huge key. They need to become aware of what life in the relationship is giving them that they're not currently getting. And that's the key. As soon as they really begin to realize what's in the relationship for them, then it becomes choiceless. It becomes, well, this is awesome. They have to feel like this is awesome over here. And Oftentimes when people have this issue, when they're saying like, I feel insecure in this relationship, I feel like the other person isn't fully in it, they're not ready to make a full commitment, it's the feeling that they'll have is, I feel insecure around this. So really we want to look at, how can you start to feel more secure? Well, one thing you need to realize is, what are the emotional needs of the person who has the fear of commitment? If you can figure those out, 
you're now in a much stronger, more secure position because you know what will make life over here for them awesome. So get curious about what their emotional needs are. Now, if you're seeing a man, a male partner, that is that is very frustration, frustrating for a lot of people because what do men want is a question. And oftentimes you ask a man what he wants and he doesn't know. And the reason for that, there are many, but one is that men are usually very, very out of touch with what their emotional needs are. They might give you some very, very superficial needs that they have, if they're being honest. But men's emotional needs, let's say he's in a relationship and it's a, a really good relationship and his emotional needs are being met. He has a lot more emotional needs than maybe he even knows about. So if you can find out what your partner's emotional needs are, you'll realize this person maybe doesn't even realize the amount of happiness that's waiting for them in this relationship. Because as a partner, you, your role is to help meet those emotional needs, to fulfill that person's life in ways that they don't even understand yet. When you realize that, the feelings of insecurity go away. Um, you know, and you're not even afraid anymore of, of the fact that they're clinging to the independent life of being outside the relationship. You begin to feel a lot more confident about there is huge value to being with me in this relationship. So I'm going to talk about that in other videos, but that's the equation. That's where the fear of commitment comes from. They need to see life in the relationship as being better than life outside it. Because I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.